This episode of Fawn Buff is brought to you by lynda.com. Click on the first link in the description below to start your free seven day trial today. What's up guys, David here from Fawn Buff, and it's been a couple of weeks since Google I.O. and the announcement of Android L. I've had the developer preview of L installed on my Nexus 5 since then, and I've gotta tell you guys, Android L is a really big deal. It's easily one of the biggest updates to Android since Android. So in this video, I wanna go over what I think are the top 10 new features in Elm, starting off with number one, which is probably what you've heard about the most in the last couple of weeks in the all new material design. So the main takeaway here is that material design is the biggest UI overhaul since all the way back in 2011 with Ice Cream Sandwich. The overall look and feel of material design is a bit more colorful than the hollow theme we've seen over the years, with a lot more attention to the detail, even with the little things from the way the screen responds when you touch it, to the small animations the toggles have in the settings. But material design isn't meant to just give Android a facelift, but it's also meant to bring a universal design across all of your devices, so that way regardless of whether you're using Android Wear, a Chromebook, a web app, or even Android TV, the experience you get will be a more familiar one and therefore easier to use. Two, notifications. The notifications in Android have always been great, but with L, Google has taken them to a whole new level. So the first thing you'll notice that's different with notifications are that they now show up right on your lock screen without the need for you to swipe the notification shade down. Speaking of the notification shade, in L, there technically isn't one. Instead, when you swipe the notification bar down, you get a list of your notifications without the shade itself taking up the rest of the screen. So if you have no notifications, most of your screen still remains visible. And it seems like getting notifications out of the way was a goal Google had with L, as they also added heads up notifications, which pop up on the top third of the screen for important notifications, like when you're getting a call, allowing you to either answer or ignore them quickly without the notification itself being too obtrusive. Three, quick settings. While I was showing you the notification shade just a second ago, you may have noticed that the button for quick settings at the top right is no longer there. But don't worry, quick settings still exist and now they're actually a lot easier to get to. In L, all you have to do is swipe the notification bar down twice to get to quick settings, which to me beats having to press the button all the way in the corner. On the lock screen, it's even easier as you only have to swipe down once since you're already getting your notifications on the lock screen itself. As far as toggles go, you have all the same ones that you had in KitKat, but in L, you can now adjust the brightness right in quick settings. You also have a toggle for Chromecast, and maybe more importantly, Google finally decided to add a toggle for auto-rotate. I have no idea why it took them so long to do this, but I guess it's better late than never. Four, Android runtime. Okay, so I already did a video covering what art is and why it's so important, but in case you missed it, I'll link it for you down below in the description. But for now, all you need to know that is with art, your phone will be able to run apps faster and more efficiently. Art also brings support for things like 64-bit CPUs, so don't be surprised if we start seeing 64-bit Android phones by the end of this year. Five. Project Volta. With L also comes Project Volta, aka Google's attempt at finally making battery life better on Android. Project Volta is comprised of things like the new Job Scheduler API, which helps apps do more of their unimportant tasks while your phone is charging instead of while running on battery. The new and improved Battery Historian gives you greater insight into how your battery is being used up, and it even tells you how much time you have left until your phone dies, and also how long it'll take to get it back to full while you're charging. Finally, Google is officially including a power saver mode into stock Android, which combined with all the other improvements in Project Volta, has given a phone like the Nexus 5 30 to 40% more battery life, which is just absolutely huge. Six, do not disturb. No, it's not that big of a feature, and we've already seen it in iOS and other manufacturer skins, but having Do Not Disturb built right into stock Android is definitely welcomed, especially since Google implemented it better than anyone else, letting you access it quickly and easily. When you hit one of the volume buttons, you can turn Do Not Disturb on right from the pop-up, and what I love about it is you can also set a temporary Do Not Disturb, so that way when you go to a movie, you can set Do Not Disturb on for two hours, go through the movie without your phone bothering you, and when you get out, you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn your ringer back on as it'll do it automatically. Seven, personal unlocking. If you watched my 10 features every smartphone should have video, you know that I love the fingerprint scanner on my iPhone 5S because it lets me secure my phone without that extra layer of security slowing me down. Well, personal unlocking in Android L is similar in a sense in that it lets you secure your phone with a pin or a password, but the phone will only prompt you for it when it can't detect a trusted Bluetooth device or a trusted location. 
So when you're at home, your phone will bypass the lock screen, but if you go out to eat at a restaurant and you forget your phone there, you don't have to worry about strangers getting into it as the password will be automatically enabled. Now, I'm not saying this is as good as a solution as a fingerprint scanner, but it is a convenient way for people like me who don't like the extra step of a password to be able to secure their phone without it driving them absolutely crazy. Eight, hardware assisted hot word. Over the past few weeks, Google has been rolling out an update to the Google search app on the Nexus 5 that lets you use the OK Google command not only from your phone's home screen, but also on any other screen. So if you're in the calendar app, for example, you can just say OK Google and Google Now will pop right up. But what about when the screen is off? That's what the hardware assisted hardware feature is all about. It lets specific hardware assist in the detection of a specific hot word, in this case, OK Google. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, it's because it is. The Moto X has worked like this since the day it came out, but with the Android L, it looks like we'll start to see more and more devices bring this feature to the table. Nine, recents. In L, not only do the virtual touch buttons look different, but the recents window has gotten a material makeover as well. Gone are the little thumbnails of apps that we've seen since ICS, and in are these larger and Rolodex style tabs that look a lot like the tabs in Chrome. Speaking of which, the new Recents menu has what Google is calling document-centric multitasking, allowing apps like Chrome to have separate windows and Recents for individual tasks. For example, in Chrome, if you're working with two or three tabs in your calculator app, you won't have to switch from the calculator to Chrome, then to the tab that you want, and instead, you'll be able to go straight from the calculator to the individual tab that you need. 10, Android L? Wait, what? A top 10 feature on Android L is Android L? Well, no, actually it's just the name, or rather lack thereof. Think about it, every major version of Android has been accompanied by a dessert in alphabetical order. We had cupcake, donut, eclair, froyo, gingerbread, honeycomb, ice cream sandwich, then jelly bean, and then Kit Kats, and now we just get L? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, actually it kind of does. See. L is the first time Google came out and released a new version of Android before it was finished in a developer preview. So what's the big deal? Well, by releasing a developer preview before they're really ready for L to go prime time, Google is giving developers and manufacturers a chance to get a feel for what Android L is all about. So that way, by the time Android L is ready for prime time, everybody else will be ready for it. This may just lead to faster updates for both apps and devices and could potentially increase the adoption rate of L compared to previous versions of Android, which historically have been pretty bad. Okay, so that about does it for my top 10 features on Android L, but before I head out of here, I wanna give a big shout out to lynda.com for making this video possible. If you haven't heard, lynda.com helps you learn and keep up to date with your software, pick up brand new skills, or explore new hobbies with their easy to follow video tutorials. If you're a fan of the channel and you're watching this video, I'd say that there's a pretty good chance that you're into technology and with lynda.com, you can learn how to get the most out of it. Whether you want to take better pictures and video with your DSLR, learn the programming skills you need to develop your own mobile app, or edit your own video footage using Final Cut or Premiere like I do, lynda.com offers thousands of video courses in a variety of topics with more and more being added every week. Plans start at just $25 a month and for you phone buffs, lynda.com is hooking it up with a free seven day trial. So head over to lynda.com slash phone buff or click on the first link in the description below, start your free seven day trial, learn that skill that you've probably always wanted to learn and help support the channel in the process. All right, that's pretty much it for me in this video on Android lemon pie or lemon meringue or whatever Google ends up calling it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next episode.